We're live. We're live. We're recording. Everyone, we're back. Alchemy Brothers. Going. It has we're been, alive. <laughs> it, it has been forever. Oh my gosh. It's been a whole year. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it's been a whole year. It's been what since we last uh, been Seriously. together like this? <laughs> a month, two months, maybe. Well, early November, I think, sometime. I think. Yeah, usually the holidays kind of get like, nah, they get wonky. Yeah. Oh, it's been good, though. It's been fun. Was it early November? Yeah, right? I believe so. Oh, yeah, I can't complain. Yeah, because uh, I think, I mean, we, we were talking about doing a show. We were talking about doing a show for Thanksgiving, but everybody was just going to be away for, for everything. So, let me see. It's like, mm. I'm going to check it out. Last video that we posted was videos. Yeah, they're on November. I agree. It says three weeks ago, December 9th. So, yeah, early, late November, mid November, maybe. But, yeah, it's crazy, man. I don't know. It's been good. What are you guys like been up to? I mean, I have so much to talk about. Working like crazy. That's good. Work's not been so bad for me. It's been chill. Um, I don't know if you remember working at the airport during these times, Remy, but it's been like, it's been slowing down, but it's nothing like crazy, crazy. Like, I'm still getting some pretty decent hours. That's good. That's good. Was it crazy? But it's not that bad. Uh, my birthday is... But my birthday's in two days. How about that? Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Happy birthday. I'm ready for that. Remember January 5th. <laughs> awesome. Happy birthday, Walter. Yeah. So <laughs> by the time this comes out, it'll, it'll be my birthday's guest. <laughs> it'll be uh, it's, it's crazy. It's ever so it's been a it's been a good year. It's been a it's been a year of uh, experiences and uh, learning. <laughs> and uh finding myself yeah that's for sure definitely dude. 2020 was a blessing for me truly mm-hmm. was the uh airports all crazy during uh like november and december well not as much as you would think uh i feel like it's getting crazy now um with like especially uh because i live in san antonio and it's like military city usa so we got a lot of people coming in and out or um a lot of uh especially military as far as i know uh, i don't know what branch it is but i just see fatigue so i don't know <laughs> that's crazy that's, that's good but yeah a there's a lot of people uh lots of people flying in and out internationally uh, uh or mexico i'll tell you yeah i believe that, that. I believe that. <laughs> Damn Mexicans. <laughs> That's us, though. <laughs> <laughs> my whole family. Yeah, well, my, like, That's our people. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. My mom and my sisters, like my mom, my sisters, my brother, my little brother, and my dad, they're all over there. That's cool, though. I mean, I'm happy that they're there. Uh, well, I actually quit my job in December, early December. I paid all my December bills, and I was like, fuck this job, and I quit. It wasn't agreeing with me, and every day I felt like shit. Because, um, yeah, it was customer service over the phone. I just uh, couldn't do it. You know, it's so, so, right. so draining. It's so draining. The customers are not always right. They're rated. They- yeah, and then, like, and that's the thing, too. Like, during these times – people like during the holidays people are like <clears throat> just grinchy dude they're assholes and that's like they're ordering like gifts and everything that's not the gift that they ordered but it is the gift that they ordered you know like dude you confirm that order I, you know i'm seeing it right here you order this iphone 11 it clearly doesn't say it's an iphone 12 like ah you know <laughs> But no, 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 I, I don't know. I like, yeah, and I so can't. they try to blame it on their. Uh, yeah, people just can't own up to their own mis- mistakes, man. Uh, 
Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, oh man, like I could, I like I could handle customers yelling at me face to face, like in the airport when I worked there. Like, you know, people would yell at me, "Oh, well, 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 make my plane come back." It's like, oh yeah, bro, let me call them right now. You know, your plane will come back. <laughs> yeah, but but when it's like over the phone, it's some, it's different. You know, it's more a psychological thing where it just messes you up mentally, and you're just like, damn. So yeah, early early December I quit my job, and I just been chilling, dude. I've been living life right now, loving it. I'm doing lift on the side, so I mean that's kind of helping. Um, but even then, like I enjoy lift, you know, it's easy. I'm just driving around, and that's something I don't mind doing is driving. So I just pick up people, I take them to their destination, and yeah. so it's been fun. But yeah, I'm happy I quit my job. I don't know. Oh, I got another job too. I'm gonna be. Well, oh yeah, what are, you, what are you doing? Oh, I'm gonna be a security monitor at an orphanage. Uh, it's like a it's like a school, um, but for immigrant children, so kids that come from South America, Central America, without their parents. So I'm gonna be like a security monitor, just uh, making sure everyone's following protocols, kids are staying safe, and you know, it's uh, it sounds pretty cool. Like my cousin, he works there, and he says it's pretty fun. So I'm excited, and uh, pays a lot more, and I'll have to deal with customers. So, you know, life is amazing how it works out. Well, that's good that you fell upon something real good, man. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, I'm, I mean, I, I'm gonna go in there, you know, you know, still put my guard up because uh, my cousin says you can't give information about yourself to the kids, which makes sense. Um, but, you know, I just want to, I want to make sure I, I don't know, like stay away from gossip, I guess. So that's one thing I'm going to keep to myself. Yeah. I'm going to go there, do work, work and mm -hmm. go home, you know, have a mentality that you're Batman. That's the best way. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be Spider-Man. My, job, my job's been pretty freaking crazy, dude. Like, we had, like, two people quit. Oof. Actually, yeah, two, two people quit. No, three people quit. And then three people getting COVID. Ah, and dang. So I was just like, damn, dude, like, it's been crazy. It's been busy. But it's been good, dude. The pay's been pretty okay. They gave us, like, hazard pay and all that crap. Really? Yeah, it's not a whole lot. It's, like, two bucks, but still. Hey, that's, you know, adds up. It truly does. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Been uh, grateful for all the hours I've been clocking in. Been knocking out them hours yeah that's awesome man i'm happy oh, that's cool man i mean all of us i mean we sound like we're doing pretty well you know uh, it's crazy today i was journaling in the morning and i wrote that i'm just gonna live my life how i want to live it and i wrote down um a bible verse matthews uh six twenty five. It says, therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink which, or what you will wear. Um, and uh, it's crazy because I, I, like, I wrote that and then I went to my brother's house and he was watching church on TV. And uh, the pastor said the same thing that I wrote. And I was like, dude, that's a sign. Like, <laughs> I was like that was pretty cool. I was like, wow, that was pretty cool. And uh, I mean, yeah, that this whole month, like December passing, I, you know, I wasn't worried about anything. I quit my job and I was like jobless for a week. And then my cousin, he's like, hey, man, you want a job? I got this new job that, you know, they're, they're trying to hire people. And I was like, yeah. So I applied, got the call the next day. And they're like, hey, man, we'd like to hire you. I was like, bet. <laughs> so, so now I'm just waiting for them to call me sometime this upcoming week so tomorrow i'm expecting a phone call from them to like let me know what i need to do like what other process i need to do to you know get the ball rolling and start working sooner 
It's a nice blessing in disguise. It, it is, man. So I'm excited about 2021 now. You know, I, I guess, I guess, um, what did you guys learn in 2020? Life ain't easy. Yeah, that's true. Life is suffering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, uh, but you gotta just like, we gotta look through past that, uh, you know, and just, I don't know. Oh man, it's like, like we, we're on our own pace to get out of whatever it is they have to. And to really look, but the, I think I, what I want to say is like, yeah, I just really had to look within myself for all these answers, you know, like I couldn't really look to, to, I can ask people their different opinions, you know, and, and get different, different uh, observations on the different things. But uh, in the end, you know, I'm going to do what's best for me, you know, and it's it was really hard you know uh actually trusting myself you know to do the the the, the things that i need to do and um uh, i think I, I it was it was yeah i had to build up a, a trust relationship with myself before like i could even trust uh anybody else uh with with my life you know mm -hmm. um letting them into my personal things you know um and what else did I learn? Just not being a pendejo, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just not being a pendejo. <laughs> That's hard sometimes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you would think it's not, but it, you would think it, it, it's the easiest thing. But, you know, sometimes, like I tell people, if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. So, <laughs> <laughs> my grandma, My grandma's dad, and this is a saying that we still say, um, like whenever my grandma asked me, she's like, "Mijo, what are you, what are you going, what are you gonna go do today?" I was like, "Grandma, I'm probably go pendejear, you know, <laughs> go do the stupid shit." And that's something my her dad used to say. He's like, <laughs> "That that uh, they're like, where are you going, Dad? A pendejear, a pendejear." <clears throat> so, so that's something we still say, like you know, just to keep that memory. I've never met my my grandma's dad, but you know, something they you know tradition to continue going. Yeah, that's so. actually quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> so when my grandma asked me, ¿Qué vas a hacer hoy? Pendejear. Vas a hacerme pendejo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's what I'm going to do on my birthday, man. I'm just going to be fucking being a pendejo at home, just chilling. That's doing what's absolutely up, nothing. <laughs> Just uh, smoke a nice uh, little jig. I'm gonna roll a fatty. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna roll up a fatty and just me all day. <laughs> Nobody's gonna bother me. <laughs> Play video games. Yeah, actually, I'll probably just be playing uh, some, some game. My brother got me some games for Christmas, and uh, he got me a, a my birthday present too. But I'm gonna I'm not gonna open that until my actual birthday so it's just sitting here under, underneath my christmas tree i still have my christmas tree up i don't know about you guys <laughs> i had a little tiny baby christmas but it'll come down soon <laughs> i saw that dude that was nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh i i liked your style this year my stocking oh yeah the decorations were a bitch to put up <laughs> <laughs> a little stocking i just stuck on the wall uh, that's funny was um shit. yeah i mean 2020 i learned a lot too i um i learned uh you know yeah let people go no matter you know how long they've been in your life i've also learned that no matter how good your heart is that you're you you're always gonna be a bad person to someone and yeah that's that shit you know that sucks to know that or even when you're trying to do your best that you sometimes will like always hurt someone. So that sucks to know that. And, uh, that's what I learned. And, you know, just 
I guess improve from that to to do my to always try my best and um, <clears throat> grow as from the individual that I was that hurted you know people to become to a better person that I could possibly be and just you know actions speak louder than words I can't tell you that I've changed I can't show you that I've changed so that's good yeah. Yeah, man. I think uh, I think ever since we we we've adapted that mentality of uh, love everybody and tell the truth, it's kind of taken leaps and bounds for me. Because like honestly, like like we're all grown here, we're all adults. Like who the fuck do we actually have to lie to? Like, and what do we have to lie about? You know, like yeah, we're gonna do the things that we do. And like, because we like doing them, you know, as long as like, I, I'm not hurting nobody, you know, you're not hurting anybody. Um, we're living our lives the way that we want to. I mean, some people are not going to agree with, with what we do and think. Some people call us crazy right now, you know, uh, just by talking the way we talk uh, about the things we talk about. If they saw our Instagram uh, page, they didn't think we would um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah like but honestly like my parents i think they've been they've seen the changes that i've made within myself and they've like like they've i've told them to ask, ask themselves the, que the 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 question is it hurting or is it help or is it helping mm -hmm. you know and honestly I, like I'm, I'm i think i've been helping myself and helping others along the way you know um as best as I can through my experiences, you know, that's for sure. I can give them a different perspective, you know? And like I said, it's just a different perspective. It's not, you know, spot on fucking, this is what you need to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. No, I mean, I've, I've, I think I've, what did, uh, I've helped. Oh, I've told my mom okay. certain things too. I was like, mom, if it's not, if it doesn't agree with you, and this is like, you know, it, within the family, you know, I'll be like, if it doesn't agree with you, don't get involved, you know. Doesn't matter if it's her family. And she's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, it's thicker than mud, you know. Shit, sometimes you got to cut people off. You got to give them, you know, just... <laughs> yeah. Boundaries, bro, boundaries. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn this or uh, this past year eric honestly um keep to your goals man uh no matter how hard how far they are always maintain that mentality that it, you're going to reach it um just apply yourself as much as you can that's what i've learned that 2020 for me at least uh Try hard and think hard, and then you will achieve it eventually. Mm -hmm. True that. That's a good point. That is a really good point. I think that's the one thing that we tried to emphasize too through all, of, or at, at least I, when I remember the beginning of our of a, when I started coming into the the, the podcast, uh, that uh, effort equals happiness, and you know. And it doesn't matter like what you put your effort into, you know, as long as you feel like you're putting your hundred percent and you want to accomplish something, you know, that's, you're going to be happy, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what I, I mean, and I hate to, you know, always bring this example, up, but like well, quitting my job, it wasn't like, I was always feeling like, like shit after work, you know, like I, I like, I don't know, maybe customer service is not, over the phone at least, is not my thing. Because, <laughs> like, shit, dude, I had customers always yelling at me. <laughs> or even, like, a good portion of them would yell at me and just cuss at me. And I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to help, bro. Like, shit, <laughs> you know? Like, sh I'm sorry I can't do this, but, like, I could do this, you know? And, uh, yeah, it just, it wasn't agreeing with me. And my, my boss, too, he's like, dude, like, you know, you got Monday 
Monday, a uh, schedule Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You know, that doesn't get better than that. <clears throat> and he's like, you have Saturday, Sundays off. And, and I was like, yeah, I know, I know. He's like, yeah, keep trying to better. And I was like, man, fuck this. If, it does, if I, like, it's not even that I can't. It's just something that it doesn't agree with me. And if I'm going to have to like drain myself to make someone else happy, then no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste my energy to do that because at the end of the day, I want to focus on what I need to do. And when I get off work, I'm not because I just want to sleep and I'm just like so pissed off or, you know, so I was like, fuck this, I'm quitting. And I was like, dude, I'm quit. And yeah, I turned in all my equipment and uh, I was like, man, I'm just going to, you know, focus on myself. I'm going to give myself a set date. And, um, and it, after past this date, I'm uh, you know, I'm gonna have to kick it into gear for January because I'm not gonna have, you know, I'm gonna be, you know, on a budget, and but yeah, I mean, uh, happiness was my main. All goal. on a budget. Yeah, my happiness was my main goal to like really focus through that timeline, and yeah, it's been amazing. That's good, man. Well, at least that uh, yeah. your job, you know, like gave you some kind of uh, personality, I would say, like, because you have to, you know, be with those people, kind of, you know, have conversation with those people. And at the same time, it's kind of giving you that ability of controlling that anger inside you, going, wanting to go off on someone. At least there was something that good out of it, you know? Yes, yes, yes. I learned how to control my emotions. Um, like the example I actually gave you guys the other day, um, I was, I, I, or, I got a money order and like a money order is like a check, you know, for a certain amount of money. And, but it was to pay like my sticker for my car, like the expiration sticker that, you know, that you have to put on every car. And but like it says on the paper, like get a money order and you submit this information and you get your sticker. I didn't know that the supermarket, they could like actually print out that sticker for you. So she's all like, I was like, Oh, here's my money order. And then she's like, Oh, we don't take money orders for this. We have to, you have to pay. And I was going to, I was like, I was like, what the f oh, I was like, okay, it's okay. You could just actually apply this money order to your, your apart, your, your rent for the month. So don't even worry about it. Just pay it. And I was like, yeah, it's, you know. So, yeah, I just applied the $86 to my rent. And then I paid the difference online. So it worked out perfect. But, yeah, I was able to control my emotions. Like, I was like, oh, no, like, it's not her fault. Don't go off on her. You know, just just pay it. And it's whatever, you know. But, yeah, no, I definitely built that skill. That's uh, patience. It gave me patience. bless them for that job <laughs> any good books you guys are reading yeah patience has been another one of those good books i'm still reading the power of habit i'm almost done yeah, with that one really i haven't been able to read no that's like yeah that's the only one that i've been reading is just the the power of habit other than that um i haven't been reading anything else really i'm almost done with it the power of habit's really short because like from what i've seen like the it has like what eight chapters nine chapters and past the nine chapters it has other pages but like most of them are just like references and notes from the author yeah. uh, oh. have you guys read it still have you guys been reading it I put a pause on mine. I started reading another book. I usually, I hate doing it, but it's one of the things I'm going to make myself um, have more patience on finishing a book before I start another book or buying another book. Mm -hmm. I know I've said it before, but this time I'm going to really apply it because like I told you guys, I'm going to try to do like 100, uh, 150 books this year. I'm going to try to read that many got books. It. You got it, bro. You already done it. You just, you're almost done. Just say that. You've done it. Just think of it this way. You've already done it. So you just have to do it now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> last year, last year you read 156, if you remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
50 is my goal. 50, 50 to 60 is my goal. So, because I'm also learning guitar. I'm, I'm trying, so I'm trying to do other things too. Um, I got three notes down, four or five, five notes. So I'm not very good at transitioning my fingers yet though, but. <laughs> Well, that's good though, man. I actually, I actually got a, a musical instrument myself for, uh, for Christmas. My girl got me a ukulele, so oh, no. I've learned uh, three chords <laughs> on the ukulele. It's, it's supposed to be a little bit easier than the guitar, but um, it's kind of not. Like I've, all, I've, I've I found this, uh, this dude on YouTube. And uh, he, he, he gives like 10 day, it's like a 10 day lesson. So you do a lesson a day and he's teaching you uh, the basics of the ukulele and you learn a couple songs along the way, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, I've learned how to play happy birthday and uh, you are my sunshine. So yeah. <laughs> you are my sunshine, my only son. <laughs> that's good that's good exactly man so that's uh maybe i'll write us a theme song one day we'll see hey what the ukulele <laughs> using only those three chords <laughs> <laughs> was it one time when i was still working i was telling this guy i was like yeah man you know i'm practicing guitar i was like he's like i know these uh three strings i still don't know how to transition all that well with them and he's like bro He's like three strings. Go to Tennessee. You're ready. I was like Nashville. I was like, nah. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Amy, man, some people are tone deaf. They can't even sing a tune to save their fucking life. No. So, <laughs> I feel like I'm blessed. <laughs> Just. <laughs> I think I can see. So I can knowing <laughs> that I can carry a tune. Oh, no, just play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people, some people say, <laughs> and they still fucking go for it, and fucking more power to them, man. <laughs> At least they're not afraid. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> Oh, man. How was your guys' uh, New Year's? What did you guys do? It was good. Um, spend it with family. Yeah. Um, just pretty much had rotisserie chicken, bean and rice, you know, hey. traditional Mexican dish. Nice, nice. What was it? No tamales, bro. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, we, we had some tamales. They're good, but I think Christmas tamales were way better. Yeah. Shout out to Joanna. The recalentado. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really get tamales this year. I, I wasn't around a lot of my family. Uh, so this year it was just kind of like a chill Christmas. You know, it was, I sent everybody their gifts. Or actually, my girlfriend sent everybody their gifts. Uh, she's she was awesome. She, because we were both super busy, and in my situation that I can't really go out and shop for people, so I was like, "Just do this for me, please." And I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And uh, so yeah, she was able to. We were able to get everybody the, their gifts. They didn't get on get there before Christmas, but as long as they received it, they they were there on the. On the <laughs> He yeah. didn't get his until like the 29th, so it was whatever. <laughs> That's whatever. I got it. They but he got, got him, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. And then my parents are barely sending uh, ours right now. <laughs> so I should be getting it in like maybe the next couple of days. <laughs> you got to get it for your birthday. <laughs> yeah exactly i'll probably get it for my birthday dude that'd be awesome if, it, if i do get it for my birthday it's like nice surprise from albuquerque mexico my dad's like made like a bunch of like chiles or some or some hot sauces i, I love my my dad when he makes like his, his sauces and shit like that he's, he's good 
I, have, I still have a bunch of like their frozen stuff from uh, when they moved. So it's just sitting in my freezer right now. I need to make that stuff. <laughs> you didn't eat any of them up. Some hot sauce. Yeah, dude. Just make some salsa sauce all day. Because mm. mm. they, they bought a whole bunch of peppers and then they roasted them on the, on the grill. And um, they peeled them and everything. And they just froze them because they were going to go bad. So they just froze everything. And I inherited them. <laughs> yeah, I want those. <laughs> Come over, man. We'll make some salsa. <laughs> sure. Send the Eddie. <laughs> and some tamales. Shit, I wish I knew how to make my grandma. Uh, my grandma. Tamales, man. Yes, tamales. That was, that was, yeah. That's that I remember, man, is like grab some tamales and just like being and it all tastes so good. I, yeah, I miss my grandma's. Cooking. I think as we grow older, we appreciate Christmas a little bit more. Yeah, and our grandmas. Yeah, we appreciate our grandmas, our elders. <laughs> uh. I was fortunate to be actually raised by my grandma and my grandpa for a bit when I was a kid. That was kind of cool. Ah, good times. <clears throat> what are your guys' goals I'm for... I to put my Christmas tree down. <laughs> my, my, my sister-in-law was saying the same thing. She's like, because if I remove that right now, I don't know what to put there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's so yeah, true. Honestly, this like, is going to be just, empty. Yeah, what do I do? <laughs> Am I just going to stand there for the, like, <laughs> like a weirdo? It's like when you're removing it in March. <laughs> going to be one of those people. <laughs> We're never taking this Christmas tree down. It stays. <laughs> It's a it's a it's a yearly tree. Did you guys decorate it? What's your what's your yearly Christmas uh, movie tradition? Like, what's the one movie you always have to watch? Uh, I didn't. Oh, well, this year. I mean, because it's usually Elf, but this year I watched The Grinch, which I hadn't seen in a while, so that was fun. I like the Grinch. I like the Grinch. Jim Carrey. Which yeah. one? Which no, one? Jim, Jim Carrey. Yeah. Mm. I like that one. I hadn't seen the the one with uh, the new one with uh, the with animated the Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, the yeah, because I, I liked it a lot. Honestly, I think it, it was a. I feel like the Grinch was less of a dick to the dog this time. I, I think. Uh, <laughs> A lot of people complained about that. I don't know. I guess animal rights. <laughs> well, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it's a movie. They didn't actually hurt the dog. <laughs> Put implants in their head. That it's okay to be a dick to a dog. I didn't get that when I watched it when I was in third grade. <laughs> now, honestly, I think I like the grand. Max did everything all. for him. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, Jim Carrey movies, one yeah. was I haven't seen what the new I, one. Is... I had to watch Santa Claus. Those are, that's my go to is Santa Claus that I didn't watch and I d and I and I I love watching it and I forgot to watch it. Go all the way. Uh, With Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Turbo Man. I've never seen that. I, I used to but watch I will lot. admit, they did. Uh, huh? They dropped the, the Wonder Woman movie that came out on Christmas Day, and then uh, that Soul movie for Disney, Disney came out. Oh, I've seen both of them. Those are pretty that, good. That was, those were pretty good movies, man. Actually, uh, Eric, have you seen the Wonder Woman's? No, I actually haven't. I wasn't the first one that came out, but the newest one, no. The, I, I watched both of them. 
because uh, my my brother's family, like his wife's family, they came for Christmas, and uh, one of the like my sister in law's like niece, she's like roughly our age. She hadn't seen it, any of them, and we watched them, and I actually appreciate them more. I always liked the first one, but I appreciate both Wonder Womans because like. It, it revolves, like, my understanding of it is, like, love is the strongest force in the world. So, if you go and watch it, like, with that mentality, like, love is the main source, I think you would appreciate it. Yeah, I just, I think I understand that now more, better that you, that you say that. And just loving, loving yourself for what you are and what you're not, and and the efforts that you're trying to put into everything that you are, and what you want to be, and then also loving others, who they are, and mm-hmm. what, and what you know, just you know, just loving them. You know? Yeah, because be. the new Wonder Woman, <laughs> the new be free. Yeah, the new woman's been getting a lot of criticism, but I mean, people are not seeing what the message is about, and it's love. Um, well, not a lot of people. Isn't that what Rent was about? Rent. Mm. Which one? <laughs> Remember that song? Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred oh. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> how do you measure a year yeah how do you measure a year by my goals I don't think you can measure a year I mean you can measure a year but I think you can measure it in learning and yeah with the knowledge that you gained and that can be good and bad fire is good and bad my friends yeah. <laughs> um, Soul was good. Did you guys watch Soul? Huh? Oh yeah, that was such a good movie, man. Eric? No. <sighs> Soul? Yeah, the Disney movie. We can't give Soul. any spoilers. I can't. Let me see. Let's see if. It's just S O O L. Like yeah, like your soul. Oh, okay. It's uh, it has Jamie Fox and Tina uh, Tina Fey. I love Tina Fey. I actually had a crush on her for a while. I also ha- also had a crush on Ellen Page, but not anymore. Me too. I thought she was hilarious. <laughs> she was funny in Juno. I loved her in yeah. Juno. She's a. Elliot Page, I respect that. It's respect. It's bold move. You, you gotta get Disney Plus if you haven't seen it, Eric. No, I didn't. Oh, there it is. It's pretty good, dude. I'll ask my mom for uh, her uh, Disney. Oh, she has it? Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Get it right now. It's like, <laughs> movie day, let's go. <laughs> let's go right now. It looks good. I, th- I remember popcorn. seeing some commercials about it. It's it's good. Like, it, And especially kind of like, it relates to everything that we've talked about too. So that's what I liked about it. Yeah. yeah. It's a... Uh, I asked my buddy about it if he saw it, and he said that he hadn't seen it yet because he's into the stuff that we talk about. And but he said that he was he he walked in, uh, and his five year old daughter was watching it. But he said he he walked into a part that he didn't like, but it was it was taken out of context, and it was that it was a part at the end towards the end where like he's for um the little lost soul and um 
there's somebody telling her that she's never going to be good enough, you know, and all this stuff. Uh, and he's like, I didn't like that part. I was like, yeah, dude, that's taken out of context. You got to yeah, watch, yeah, you gotta you gotta watch, watch it from movie. beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and to a little kid, yeah, that's scary, man. That's freaking scary. Yeah. You're telling Not them that you're never going to be what you want to be. Like, whatever. I was a kid, it would shatter my world, you know, like, you're not going to be a musician. I'm like, oh, bitch, what? Well, anything is possible. <laughs> and that's, I, and I think that's what, what took me so long is that like uh, figuring myself out and doing and w- wanting to do the things that I want to do. And, um, and yeah, and I feel like I've just been, like, I don't want to blame my, my, my parents or anything like that, but I just feel like they weren't as, open to the possibilities of that we are um that we were can be that we're exposed to today you know that and and it doesn't matter and honestly it, i could if i wanted to I, I could become you know the world's greatest musician oh, fuck i could pick up the ukulele tomorrow and just be like no, 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 and start learning all this shit <laughs> and i'm the greatest ukulele player ever <laughs> you'll never beat the be guy like, who ah, wrote over the rainbow <laughs> Oh man, no! I'm he's right here. He's guy. right here. No, You're no. right. You'll be like. <laughs> Plus, I'm like like one third of him. <laughs> you know, he like wrote that. Two of the planet. He, was <laughs> he wrote that in uh, at like four a.m. Like he went to the studio and just wrote that in one take. Wow. Yeah. He like I think he. My brother says that he was like at home sleeping and then he woke up and he went straight to the studio and uh just recorded that yeah. they gave it to they let him for free happens, or something man. uh yeah. what's his name i forget who it was but i think it's like somebody i think it was like the dude from aerosmith he like fell asleep with his guitar and he woke up the next morning and he fucking um wrote uh a solo for some song. I forget what it was. I, I, it was, was I, yeah, I don't remember what it was, but it was like, oh, I that. watched it on VH1 or some shit like that. How old I am, kids? <laughs> VH1. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Goals for 2021, guys? Abs. Abs. It's a good goal. <laughs> I think for me, bold move. I, it's bold. I think I'm gonna try to get a new job. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of tired of the place I'm working at. I love the place. I love the people, but it's just, I feel stuck. I feel like there's no, there's not gonna be any like way out of there unless I go somewhere new. Mm-hmm. Still in the cooking industry. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with it, dude. Like I've been yeah. doing it for what, like. 10 years now? Dude, get a food truck. Well, that'd be awesome, dude. I actually, yeah. that, that would be awesome. But my, my main goal, honestly, is to try to make music. Okay. Like I, you know, I'm doing, I'm actually going to be taking some classes uh, that I found online. And uh, it's like a, a pretty much a month thing. And it's going to be teaching you how to do things. And it seems really good. That's good. So I'm, I'm really excited for that. When do you start that? Uh, tomorrow. Uh, oh, Monday. nice. That's awesome. So it's going to show me how to produce music and shit. So I'm excited. Something new. Something to give me some excitement. That's good. Yeah, that's what's up. I've, I've been pushing for you to do it. Hey, man, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, awesome. look at, uh, my girlfriend, uh, she's the one that threw me the link. And she's like, hey, look. Like, you should try this shit out. And I was like... So I read everything, and I'm just like, "Oh crap, um, I'm pretty excited to do this, man." And I was like, "All right, sign me up." That's good. That's what's up. And 150. Books. 150 books. You got it, bro. You got like Walter said, you've done it. You just gotta do it again. I just gotta apply it. Yeah. But honestly, the other book that I'm reading right now is uh, called "The Voice of Knowledge" from Don Miguel. Ruiz. Oh, okay, so, yeah. I got um, that one. I didn't know either. My sister's the one that. Ooh, kitty cat. Um, sorry, I got excited. 
That's so cute. Put I want to get it. <laughs> That's Cade. 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 He's one of two. Cade, like Cade 6 from uh, Destiny 2. I don't know if y'all played Destiny. Oh, yeah. uh, no. Mm -mm. That's cool. I love Cade. But like I was saying, um, book, uh, my sister gave it to me. So I was like, all right. And I was like, this is pretty cool. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it. Oh, and then she also gave me something else too, like a meditation book. It's like a journaling. Pretty cool. That's awesome. I wrote my, and my goals down. My goal is for 2021. Finish my story. I've been writing a story. Uh, pay off my credit card. That's going to be easy. Open a IRA. That's uh, like a retirement account where the money kind of just starts working itself. Uh, open an account for Coast to Coast Gamings. That's my YouTube, my, my YouTube, my gaming channel. And open another account where I just put money to save it. <clears throat> Live on a budget. Like living on a budget has such a like a bad rep to it but it's not it's like you know you just like all right, i'm a five hundred dollars kind of thing it's like oh this five hundred dollars is for me this month once i pass those 500 you know that's just an example you know i can't spend anything like oh hey you want to go to the movies can't you know i don't got my money so i'm gonna live on a budget and then um learn real estate keep practicing guitars my goal by the end of the year is to have six songs memorized. Read slash listen to 50 plus books. And then my last one, I'm not going to say it. That one I'm going I'm to keep to myself. That's You're a good one. A hook like that? Come on. Hey, I got to. I can't. Like getting they say, two, two, two. Finally getting a sex change, Eric. <laughs> two, That's two. why huh? he made Tinder for him. <laughs> two, two things for the rules of success. One, you never reveal everything you know. That's it. Because the second one is the, what you don't know. And two, you don't know until you know. You oh. know? <laughs> and if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> So those are my uh, those are my goals for this year, which I'm excited. They're pretty simple, all of them. But even then, like, you know, just just applying. Um, be be good. It's a good year. Um, I don't really, I haven't really thought of like goals as like or things that. Are, that I want, I, I have things, things that I want to accomplish, maybe, but I don't really, I haven't set them as like a goal that I want to. It's more like something that I want to accomplish before, you know, I die or something like that. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 for sure. I mean, because I don't really do New Year's resolutions. These are just, you know, goals that I want to accomplish throughout. I guess that they're not. I wouldn't even call them New Year's resolutions. Just life goals yeah just mapping out what I'm yeah that's a do. good thing that's a good way to put it just is, is writing your map yeah creating your map because uh -huh. because uh, new year's resolutions people never really stick to them like they're like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna start dieting oh i'm gonna yeah. start working out oh i'm gonna start doing this oh i'm gonna start doing like and they don't you know um like for example i was telling my grandma and my mom that uh, I had this one mapped out. It's uh, it's like focusing on like five year goals, and like for example, one of them is like buy a house within five years. Like in that five year span, you know, I'm always putting up small portion of money until I have enough money for when I hit that fifth year, I'll buy my house, kind of thing, you know. So. That's a good idea. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I'm excited. This year's gonna be good. This year so is gonna be 
I don't know. If you can describe what this year is going to be in one word, what would it be? Life changing. Oh, that's true. That's yeah. two. No, 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 that's but, too many uh, words. No, Less. No, 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 no. <laughs> but life changing has a hyphen in the middle, so it's good. Counts as one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I like that. I like that. <laughs> uh, going off last year's 2020, um, hmm. how do you how do you state it in one word? Hold on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. What, self growth. What, what self growth. But I'll take that. I'll take that. Self growth. That's with the hyphen in the middle again, too. <laughs> but that, yeah, that's a definite hyphen. <laughs> um, Self growth. Yeah. Man. I can't describe it in one word. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, get, we'll cut you a break. Two words, Walter. <laughs> uh, 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 Totally tubular, dude. Okay, that's three. No, no, okay. Uh, mega, uh, 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 I feel like at the end of the Ninja Turtles when they're trying to figure out Cowabunga, and I'm just like, uh, no, it's a super ultra, no, um, uh, <laughs> mega tubular, no, uh. If I could describe what this would be like in one word or two, it's going. It would be. Hmm. Fuck! I'm gonna have to go with like Eric, life changing because there's a lot of things that I have planned for this year, and uh, yeah, it's gonna definitely like change life as we know it <laughs> um yeah so stay tuned <laughs> yeah for sure for sure because when i know you'll know you know <laughs> oh shit <laughs> that was my chair i swear that was my chair <laughs> Hey, I don't judge. <laughs> I always blame my dog anyway. <laughs> so I don't See, even have a dog. Once again, the Grinch movie. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see it, but it's planted in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Those movies are genius, man. They know how to plant things in your head without even knowing. <laughs> It's like, damn it, Max. I wear that tin hat. <laughs> what a six cents. <laughs> no, but honestly, I would, I would, that's it for me to describe it would be life changing because that's all we're trying to do, you know, improve our lives as they are right now. Mm-hmm. For sure. Oh, man, yeah. I mean, yeah, self-growth, life-changing, amazing. Oh, I actually also wrote down a couple things from what I learned this this past year. I'm going to read them to you guys. I wrote down 11 of them. One, don't let people control your mind. Live your life for you. Two, you keep your life private. You know, the less people know, the better, you know. And a thing that I like to do, I post stupid shit so people think I'm dumb. <laughs> Sometimes, you know. Is <laughs> everybody in the end? <laughs> yeah, it's just like, what the fuck? What, how, what do you do that? <laughs> um... Fuck what other people think about you. Four, 
don't lie. Five, if you don't like your job, quit. <laughs> I did that twice this year. Um, six, be a, pers- be a person of action, not words. That's a good one. Seven, don't take anything personal. Eight, meditate. Nine, uh, nine, focus on what, focus on that which you can control. Ten, read and apply. And eleven, seek for happiness. I for sure like number seven. What was seven again? Number eight. Number eight was good. Number eight for sure. Number eight, meditate. Seven, don't take anything personal. Oh, yeah. I want to go with that one. Be a person of action, not words. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, yeah. Don't walk the walk. Talk. Uh, don't talk the talk. Walk the walk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so um, that's great. I, I, yeah. Um, it's be good. It's gonna be great. Also, another thing that I'm doing this this month. I was telling my brother, and he kind of got upset with me. I'm not gonna go visit him or anyone in my family here in San Antonio. I'm just kind of, kind of be a ghost. Just, uh, I think it'd be. What do you want to do that for? Uh, I think it'd be fun. Just, you know, no one here knowing what I'm doing. Just, you know, maybe my mom and dad and my grandparents. <laughs> just, yeah, I'll be a ghost. You should do an old school. Well, not only that, but COVID. <laughs> and uh, letters to your brothers and sisters. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah. Like actually write to them instead of actually like seeing them. Yeah. And actually, there's a someone in that more in my building that does that to his friends. He has like a pen pal friends, and he just writes to them all the time. That's cool. Uh, that's not a bad idea. I like that. We'll do that. Yeah. Just gotta buy some stamps and envelopes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. We can be each other's pen pals. <laughs> <laughs> we could. I hope this gets to you on time. And, uh, by the time you read this, I would be dead. I'm for sure this year I'm going to go camping. Huh? I said for sure this year I'm going to try to go camping. Mm. Nothing more wonderful than actually going out to nature. The skills. <laughs> Although, except you when you need to poop in I'm nature. I'm having trouble connecting. I'll keep trying. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? She's the hell was that? She's listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? Nobody was even talking to you, fool. Go away. <laughs> uh, that was weird. Scary. Uh, what the hell? The government is listening see. to me already. I mean, they've been listening to me. Uh, in the part of... Huh? Uh, I was going to say... Uh, in the power of habit, uh, did you guys read the target the target chapter? Yeah, that was pretty creepy, huh? Yeah, I like yeah, especially with the one with the the freaking girl, like the, <laughs> her dad. He's like, "Why are you sending her this shit? She's part, she's only eighteen years old, or she was like sixteen, right? Or how old? Like, yeah, like that. Like she she was she's not pregnant. She's she's still in high school." <laughs> I know that she was pregnant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's nuts, bro. You watch the Social Dilemma on Facebook or YouTube or Netflix? No. 
watch it. It's pretty dope. Uh, mm-hmm. it's pretty, social this, the social dilemma. Social dilemma. It's a, it's a documentary on Netflix, but they kind of made it like into a movie as well. But it's pretty, pretty oh, informative. And I, I watched that. Uh, it was weird how this like how I, how this all like happened, but I watched the social dilemma, and then the following day I watched Snowden. I don't know why it's just something intriguing to Snowden that I wanted to watch, and I was like, oh shit, that's the social dilemma. And then I started reading the chapter of the of the power of habit of Target, and I was like, holy shit, this is all three of these things together. That was pretty intense. Uh, blew my mind. Uh, man, I don't know, guys. Anything else? I can't think of anything now. <laughs> no? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? So, anything else? I can't think of anything. Hmm. How are you guys looking on on Sundays? Are you guys available Sundays? Uh, for me, right now, yeah, I am. Me too. For for right now, I am. I mean, I turned this upcoming week. Like I said, I'm just waiting on this phone call for them to send me information on what I need to do so I can start working. And because um, I don't know what days I'll be working, but right now I'm, I'm looking pretty free on Sundays. So if you guys will continue doing the Alchemy Brothers, I'm up for that. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm up for it as well. Um, the only, only way that it'll change is if COVID hits again and then someone gets sick and I have to fill in for that fun person. <laughs> Walter? But, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> I'm good. I have all the time in the world. <laughs> You're such a hippie, dude. <laughs> I love it. You're like the dude from our soul. <laughs> you know who, right? There's... Let's go check it. Call, call your mom right now. Yeah, for real. Go, you're gonna, you're gonna see. You're gonna see Walter's. There's this guy who's like a spinning, spinning dude who like spin signs, and that's just oh, that's God. Walter. <laughs> I'm gonna start like throwing the the wands at work up in the air and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you could totally show a, a nice lightsaber action dance with those things. Yeah. it's 11 11 I I wish I've been seeing a lot I've been seeing that I've been seeing my birthday I've been seeing 11 11 12 12 5 5 5 6 6 6 no I can't I can't see 6 6 6 because it's oh I thought you were I thought you were singing a song no I'm saying them it's the numbers I've been seeing my birthday 10 10 0 3 they say numbers have meaning so I, I like look them up I'm like what does this mean <laughs> do, you, do you guys know anything about like the whole number uh, what was it called uh, like there's like a specific number that you are and then they, they, they kind of tell you like your fortune I can't remember what it's called but I kind of looked into it it was cool there's a Number that you, I don't know. Number that you are, you are. Yeah, like every person's a number, and then that number is like categorizes you as a person, and kind of describes you the way you are. What? I wonder what. Now that you say that, I wonder what number I was when I was born. Like what human number? Like you know the population. Like oh, he's the first human to be born. You know, like oh, he's. Three billion one hundred something, you know. It's your social security number. No. Yeah. 
No, that's just your government <laughs> number. That's well, just yes, your designated <laughs> government ID. But I'm saying like the born. Like, <laughs> no, like the the population number that I was in the world when I was born. <clears throat> oh, I was everyone. Yeah. In the world, okay. So I could have been like. You think we're still in the seven billions? <laughs> When we were bored, seventh billion person. No, sorry, my mind Imagine just. You. <laughs> you get a car. Congratulations, you're our seven billion person. <laughs> what have you won? A life full of suffering. <laughs> It's like, God, Eric, you gotta watch Soul because there's a scene where she's like, oh, don't worry. You can't crush a soul here. That's what life on earth is for. Good line. I love that line. <laughs> you, you, gotta, funny. you gotta watch it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, you should watch it and then we'll talk about it on the next one. <laughs> next week, next week. That's your, that's your assignment for it. this week. I'm, yeah, that's your assignment I'm, for this week. I'm texting my mom already. <laughs> <laughs> you better be. Cause I, if, you're, if you're not, I will. <laughs> I don't yeah. have your mother's number. Do not ask. <laughs> don't, like, don't, don't ask how I'll get it. I'll don't get ask it. questions that you don't want to know answers to. <laughs> Is it that new pin pal system that y'all guys are doing now? <laughs> yeah. I got my cousin. He works in the Air Force. Uh-huh. As an IT guy, right? Let you see the little parentheses that I'm doing here. As an IT guy. Oh, like, <laughs> is, is that like military intelligence? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll figure out a way to get information from him. <laughs> Snowden. <laughs> Snowden. <laughs> I just played. Cool, cool. Well, guys, I guess um, I'll let you guys go. I mean, sums up everything here. But uh, yeah, let's aim for next week. I'm excited, and uh, let's keep let's keep let's keep on keeping on. Keep on trucking. Yep. <laughs> let's do it. I'm excited. Awesome, man. Well, you guys have a wonderful night. Take care. Love you guys. Talk to you guys on Instagram and text message. And see you guys next week. All right, man. (laughs) Take it easy. Love you guys. Peace out. Peace out. Peace in the Middle East.